Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 25 bread and butter bolos coming your way. What is a bread and butter bolo? Well, it is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can buy low and sell for decent margins. These items I sold for $35 or less. So I consider anything that I sell $35 or less that's easier to find a bread and butter bolo. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I buy items at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, Facebook marketplace, you name it. Um, we are going to get started here. And the first item I got in a bag of Barbie clothes. And I do have an unboxing. I believe it's on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. If you want to check out, um, got it at a thrift store and I unboxed it. There was some decent stuff in there. So this first item pretty much paid for, um, I think the entire, almost the entire lot, if I remember correctly. All right. So this is a, just a second, please. Okay. Make sure my screen share was up. Uh, this is a vintage Ken, King Dominic outfit from the Princess and the Popper. So um, I want to say I used Google Lens to find this one. And I ended up taking a best offer of 15 and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $21.11. Cost of goods, I'm going to say was probably around a dollar. And again, that came from a bulk lot um, that I picked up at a thrift store, like a mystery bag. This is a Dorfman Pacific, uh, is it Rafia, Rafia? I'm not sure. Western hat. Um, I learned about hats. Um, like this from Butterfly Hustles. Definitely check out her channel. And I sold this for $28.80. The buyer was all in for $35.50. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. All right, you guys, this is vintage 1984 Halloween B-style action dancers, witch and skeleton. Um, had the original packaging, but they had already been taken out. So still used. Got these at a thrift store. I believe these actually came out of a mystery box. And I sold these for $28.80. The buyer was all in for $38.34. The next item I sold is this Statement nex Necklace Teal Multicolor. So what's great about this, you guys? There is no name brand. It's just a cool looking necklace. Um, nothing fancy about it. Just a pretty color. I'm actually shocked that it sold because there's not a whole lot of keywords in my title. Honestly, I probably could have done a lot better, like five strand or something. That would have been something I could have added. But anyway, it sold. I can't believe it for $10 and 79 cents. And the buyer was all in for 1947. Um, this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. There's a bunch of videos on this channel about that. Um, they're probably over a year old, but um, definitely some fun content. These cookie cutters came out of a thrift store mystery box. They are Martha's Store All Holiday Cookie Cutters. There's 20 of them here. And I sold these for $28.80, and the buyer was all in for $67.24. I have no idea why shipping was so much, but it was. The next item is this vintage Halloween garland. It's new old stock. I got this at a garage sale and a bulk lot of Halloween items. This took a little while to sell. I ended up selling it for $10.79 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $16.52. The next item is this articulated moving teddy bear brooch. Um, super cute. Um, I do use a caliper to measure it so that my buyers can see exactly what they're getting. And I sold this for $14.40. The buyer was all in for $21.02. And this also came out of my bulk buy jewelry purchase. This guy is Tales of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He is super shredder from 2016 and he is incomplete. Um, I think he's missing something from his back here. And he sold pretty quick for $20 best offer. And I got him at a garage sale. The buyer was all in for $27.34. The next item are these vintage Halloween die cuts. Um, I ended up putting these up for auction. Somebody offered me $15. So I went ahead and took it. They were all in for $21.50. And these came out of a thrift store mystery box. And this same buyer also bought um, some vintage He-Man stickers off of me and another toy. So it was a 
multi-purchase. Uh, they came back and bought something else, which is really cool. These are 1983 vintage Dakin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Dakin, D-A-K-I-N, teddy bear plush. They're really small, you guys. They're little Christmas tree ornaments. I got these at a garage sale for a buck, and I just thought they were cute, and they had the little vintage tag. Sold these for $18. The buyer was all in for $26.02. This is a vintage 1970s paint horse action figure by Enterprises, Posable and Rare, Carolina Enterprises, sorry. And um, that's the marking right here, made in Hong Kong. And I ended up taking a best offer of $23.50 on this. The buyer was all in for $31.36, and I do not recall where I got it. Probably just in a lot of toys or something. World of Wonder, Talking Mother Goose, Hector, Book, Little Bo Peep. I ended up selling this for $28. The buyer was all in for $37.03. I picked up a Mother Goose and Hector at a garage sale. Unfortunately, the goose did not work, so I decided to part it out. I've got about $4 in this. The next item is this Vera Bradley luggage tag. I ended up taking a best offer on this of $9. The buyer was all in for $15.05, and I got this at a garage sale for a buck. Um, they actually had two of them, so it was a multi-quantity listing, and both of them have sold. This is an Ertl Chevrolet plastic Hong Kong vehicle. Hard to find, rare. Um, that's the information on the bottom right here, made in Hong Kong. I took a best offer of $12 on this. The buyer was all in for $20.24, and I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. The next item I picked up at a thrift store with a actual, um, it was like a Viewmaster thing, and I was going to sell it as a lot. Well, the Viewmaster thing did not work, so this was in there, thankfully, and I decided to sell this separately, and I just uh, donated the other thing. I, it worked, but it just didn't work very good. Like I put it on my wall to maybe I was doing it wrong, but the image just seemed blurry and not very big. So I very well could have been doing it wrong. There weren't any instructions. So um, I just decided to go ahead and sell this separately. I took a best offer of $15. The buyer was all in for $21.41. It sold pretty quickly. And my cost of goods was about a dollar on that. So the Calico Critter cottage or the houses whenever i find them if they are incomplete i will part them out this is a replacement window and one shutter and i sold this for eight dollars and 64 cents the buyer was all in for 13.81 and i've got about a quarter in this this is a shopkins ice cream truck i typically would not pick this item up it was in a mystery box and i was like you know what i'm just gonna list it and see what happens and it actually sold um, I sold it for $9 best offer. The buyer was all in for $16.98. The next is this vintage Brio Engineers Club snapback hat for youth. It's a train conductor, super cute. Um, I don't remember where I got it, but I ended up selling this for $14.99 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $23.42. This is a vintage Cricut 10 Litho noisemaker clicker. It's a metal toy, you guys. It's super cute. It's about that big. Um, let me get you the measurements here. Almost four inches. Uh, came from a garage sale, had about a quarter in it, and I sold it for a best offer of $9, and the buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $14.39. Lustre, L-U-S-T-R-E, I believe is how it's pronounced. Fame, lot of two Christmas ornaments. So I looked these up, and I was pleasantly surprised with um, what they sell for. So the little mice, if you ever see them, um, they're a decent bread and butter bolo. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar, sold it for $22, and the buyer was all in for $27.80. This USS Providence hat. Uh, it's a vintage snapback hat. I picked up a ton of these for 50 cents each. I think I overpriced them, um, but uh, they do range. I mean, you could get 30 bucks for some of them. Just look them up because it really just depends. They are more of a long tail item, but I did sell this one for $14.39 and the buyer paid shipping, so they were all in for $27.29. This ladder came from the Vintage Marks of Navarone playset. It is a replacement interior ladder. You guys, I picked up this playset at a garage sale. I think it was $3. It was missing some stuff. 
So I parted it out and you guys, this playset is a gold mine. Um, I do have a video over on my reseller testing Bolo products that shows how I parted this out. Definitely go check out that video and definitely be on the lookout. I sold this ladder for $25 and the buyer was all in for $29.30. The next item is this brown braided watch band. It's new old stock. It's still got the packaging. And I ended up selling this for $12.24. The buyer was all in for $16.84 and I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. These vintage toddler baby high top shoes. Um, another great bread and butter item. People use these for baby dolls and they collect them. I sold these for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $19.66 and I got them at a garage sale for a buck. The next item is this vintage Halloween spider. It's a glow in the dark door knob cover. cover. This is made in China um, and it sold really quick. It's super, super cool. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, a Halloween box. So you guys, if you want to see some of the mystery boxes that I pick up at thrift stores, um, I do, there's a bunch of unboxings on this channel, but I recently, well, gosh, it's probably been over a year ago. I started my second channel. It's called, I don't know if it's been a year or not, but it's called Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I'm getting sidetracked. And now I put those mystery boxes that I get from the thrift stores over on that channel. And I just unbox them and it's super fun to see what I'm going to get. Sometimes there's like a $10 box. Sometimes there's a $20 box. I've even paid up for some. Sometimes I'm disappointed. Sometimes I'm pleasantly surprised. But either way, um, the link to that channel is down in the description of the video. I also mentioned my reseller testing Bolo products. Um, I've got some videos where I part things out. I parted out a caribou game. You guys definitely want to check that out. Caribou is definitely a bolo game. Um, I show you in, the, I believe I show you in the video what it goes for if it's new old stock, if it's um, complete in the box, and then I also show you how I part it out to make the most money I can on an incomplete game that I bought. Um, I think that teachers use those for um, speech or something like that. I can't remember. But um, it's it's a teacher resource. So they're really, really popular. And a lot of times people are missing the parts because these are used in the classroom. So they may be missing a ball or they may be missing the key. Um, so in that video, I show you how I parted out. It's definitely really cool. And I've sold quite a few items already from that. So uh, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links are down below. Um, I use List Perfectly. Uh, to cross post my items. There's a link down below that shows you how I do that. I highly recommend getting your items on other platforms. Um, if you want to see what I'm selling on Mercari and Poshmark, I do separate videos for that. I also have a separate video for my big money bolos. Um, lots of bolo content. That's what this channel is about. If you watch the list perfectly video and it looks like something you guys want to try, you can use coupon referral code bolo buddies, all one word. That's going to get you 30% off your first month. Try it for a month, you guys. See, just see if you like it. Um, I love it. I've been using it since 2019. And those extra sales that I make on Mercari and Poshmark are awesome. I just sold a uh, big money bolo over on Mercari. So you can, I sold it for $200 free shipping. And you can look for that in a future Mercari video. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and a subscribe here and another video here check out one of those videos and leave me a let's see let's do an ow emoji if you made it this far all right you guys thanks for watching